hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have 3 to the power of c plus 3 to the power of c is equals to 3 plus 3 and we solve this problem for all the values of c so uh, here uh, first we find all the values of c and at the last we will be verify that which of the uh, roots uh, of this equation are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root Further, we solve this problem uh, for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods. Uh, but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now here first we move towards our first method. Uh, and now you see here in the left hand side we have two exponential functions are added by each other. Uh, so uh, uh, you know that when the same uh, variable terms are added by each other then we need to add the coefficients of these terms so here first you see that uh, you see here the coefficient of this term is 1 and this term is also 1 so when you add these two coefficients it will be written as 2 times of 3 to the power of c is equals to uh, here we have this is 3 plus 3 becomes here 6 and uh, further uh, because we solve this problem for the values of c so that's why we need to uh, remove this 2 from left hand side so for this we just uh, divide both of the sides by 2 so when you divide both of the sides by 2 it will be written as in this form this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here 3 to the power of c is equals to here we have this is 2 times of 3 becomes 6 and we get here 3 only and uh, further in the next step you see here the exponent in the right hand side is 1 also you see here the basis on both of these terms are same uh, so we use here this nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m is equals to a to the power of n so this implies that because you see here basis on both of these terms are same so we uh, equate its exponents so here we get m is equals to n okay so according to this uh, exponent rule uh, here uh, we need uh, to equate the exponents of these two terms uh, so that when we equate these two exponents it will be written as c is equals to 1. So this is the value of c uh, which we get here from first method uh, and now here uh, in the next step we again solve this problem for a second method. And now for a uh, second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that uh, the given question statement is 3 to the power of c plus 3 to the power of c is equals to 3 plus 3 so this is the our given question statement and now here uh, in the second method uh, you see here uh, we have when you take common 3 to the power of c from here you get 3 to the power of c into 1 plus 1 similarly in the right hand side when you divide uh, sorry when you take common 3 you get here 3 times of 1 plus 1 and uh, now here further in the next step we have this is 3 to the power of c into here we have 1 plus 1 becomes 2 and here we have this is 3 times of 1 plus 1 becomes 2 so uh, here further in the next step we divide uh, both of the sides by 3 multiplied by 2 so when you divide both of the sides by 3 times of 2 uh, so it will be written as 3 to the power of c multiplied by 2 and it is divided by 3 times of 2 in the right hand side we have this is 3 multiplied by 2 and it is divided by 3 times of 2 so you see here these two terms are gone and here these two are gone uh, and uh, we just get here 3 to the power of c divided by 3 is equals to 1 and uh, here we use the nice exponent law you know about that if we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m minus n so according to uh, this uh, division of exponent law uh, we need uh, to move the exponent in the numerator term to the uh, denominator term to the numerator term uh, so it will be written as so when we move this one to the upside it will becomes 3 to the power of c minus 1 is equals to this is our 1 so you know that uh, we write this one as 3 to the power of 0 because we know that 
uh, if the exponent uh, of 0 of n number it is always equals to plus 1 so we write this one as 3 to the power of 0 so we just uh, use this rule according to the our condition so here we need a 3 to the power of 0 so that we just write 1 as 3 to the power of 0 and now here we again apply uh, the exponent law which we can state above in the first uh, method uh, and here we need to equate the exponents and you will get here c minus 1 is equals to 0 and this implies that we easily get the value of c is equals to 1 so you see here in the second method uh, we again get the value of c is equals to 1 and now here in the next step we need uh, to verify this value of c and we will check that is this value of c is satisfied our given question statement or not okay so uh, verification of this value we first need to copy down given question statement here it is 3 to the power of c plus 3 to the power of c is equals to 3 plus 3 and here we put the above value of c is equals to 1 into the left hand side and it will be written as 3 to the power of 1 plus 3 to the power of 1 equals to this is 3 plus 3 becomes 6 and here we again get 3 plus 3 becomes 6 is equals to 6 so this shows that the value of c is equals to 1 is satisfied our given question statement so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos